السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم daga farko muna jaddar godiyar mu ga Allah wanda ya nuna muna mun yi wannan sallah fatar ya ubangiji Allah ka karbi ibadan mu ya ubangiji Allah kuma ka kara muna zaman lafiya da kwance hankali a kasar mu kamar da kuka ji huduban mu tayi tsokaci akan sabuwar shekara ta hijira mun ji cewa lalle Allah madaukakin sarki ya ce a kirgat watanni a wajen Allah tun lokacin da Allah halicci sama da kasa shine kwa wata 12 a cikin wannan wata 12 akwai watanni hudu masu alfarma abin da ake ni masu alfarma suna da alfarma tun kafin ma zuwa ma'aiki sallallahu alaihi wasallam ba a yaki ciki ba a aikata manyan manyan zunubai lalle sauran duk watanni duk shekara ba aikam aikata manyan zunubai amma aikata mai ai zunubi a cikin wannan watannin guda hudu shine yafi watan ki wanda Allah madaukakin sarki yayi hani akai don haka jama'a wannan shekara ta hijira ta samu asali ne lokacin Sayyidina Umar lokacin da ya tare sahabbai da mutane wanda suke shura cewa ya kamata mu tsaye da yoshi ne za a fara shekara ta hijira kowa ya kawo shawara shi cewa ya kamata a fara lokaci kaza lokaci kaza a ƙarshe dai suka yi ittifaki akan cewa shekarar musulunci kirgate fara daga lokacin da annabi yayi hijira sallallahu alaihi wasallam daga makka zuwa madina saboda wannan hijira ita ce take nuna daukaka ta musulunci ita ce take nuna watan yirinjaya gaskiya akan ƙarya don haka tun lokacin nan yau shekara 1443 da annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam yayi hijira daga makka zuwa madina Hijira annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ta farko shine daga makka zuwa etopia ta biyu makka zuwa etopia ta uku ce aka yi daga makka zuwa madina kuma ita ce babban hijira wadda ake kira hijira ta dokakan musulunci to don haka jama'a ya a cikin musulunci ba a san wani buki ba bayan bukin sallan layya da sallan azumi wannan sallah ba a yi mata wani buki buki biyu ne kamar da annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam yake cewa ko wacce jama'a suna da ranar da suke buki amma mu ranar bukin mu shine wannan rana ma'ana ranar idan layya da ranar idan layya ta azumi to haka jama'a lalle gwamnati tana ba da hutu amma ba shike nuna ba ka yi buki ka tara mutane a yi yanka a yi mai wannan bid'a ce wannan annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ce duk wanda ya kekkere wani abu a cikin addinin mu wanda ba a abin nan ba bai ganshi ba to an maidan mashi wannan shekara ta hijira ba amma fara ta bi sai da annabi ya rasu to kenan kana son ka ce annabi ya munta ne to don haka jama'a mu yi koyi da karanta son ma'aiki sallallahu alaihi wasallam fatar abin nan fada daidai Allah ba mu lada shi fuskore Allah shafi cikin zukata ya gafarta muna assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi all praises and thanks due to almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we send salutation to our noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may peace and blessings of Allah be unto him my uh, my fellow brothers and sisters our today's sermon is going to talk about the new uh, uh, new year of hijra the islamic calendar as we know we are about enter this uh, new year 1423 uh, 1443 of islamic calendar This year of Hijra was traced back or traced back since the time of Sayyidina Umar radiyallahu anhu when the sahaba gathered to make the tarikh the history of Islam the major point of history of Islam Sayyidina Umar as Khalifa the second khalif of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he gathered the companion O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they called them ahl shura to discuss how to start how to begin the calculation of each and every event some of the sahaba mention let us started this event with when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or the peace migration from mecca to abyssinia that is ethiopia now You know the the peace migration started from Mecca 
to Abyssinia in Najashi. The second also to, from Mecca to Abyssinia, that is Ethiopia. Then the third one is Hijra from Mecca to Medina. It's well known, but uh, this is not the first Hijra. Some of them said, let us start it, the tarikh, the history of Islam begins when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But at the end, the Sahaba, they made consensus on to start the tarikh, the history of Islam, the commencement of the past year, the benchmark of year to start when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated from Mecca to Medina. So now we are in 1,442 years. We're about to enter 1,443 years when Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated from Mecca to Medina. But before that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Holy Quran that the calculation of months in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 12 months. Since when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created heaven and earth, among these 12 months, there are four months that are sacred. Minha al-ba'atun hurum. What is the meaning of secrecy here? Meaning that it is not allowed to engage war, to start war, or to commit grave sin in those four months. Even in Jahiliya, the ignorant time of Arab, they are not engaging war during these four months of, uh, of sacred months. So among these 12 months, in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is four. And we had the narration of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which says the month of Islam is 29 days. It's 29 days. But if you are not opportune to cite the crescent of new month, let you complete the, your calculation of each month of that very month to be 30 days. Meaning that normally the month of Islam, the month of lunar calendar is 29 days. Maybe 28 as in the uh, in this solar calendar or 31 days. No, in Islam it is 29 days. This is normal. But if you didn't see the crescent, then complete it to be 30 days. That is why the year of Islam is lesser than the or the year of lunar calendar which Islam followed is lesser than the solar calendar. There is a difference of 11 days between lunar calendar and solar calendar. If you have 33 years of age in Islamic calendar, in lunar calendar, so in solar calendar you have 34, 34 years. Because when you, between the lunar calendar and the solar calendar, in the period of 33 days, at 33 years, there is addition of one year. So, both the solar and the lunar, its calculation is done by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all is the sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Holy Quran, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْأَهِلَّةِ قُلْ هِيَ مَوَاقِيتُ لِلنَّاسِ وَالْحَجِّ O Prophet of Islam, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they were asking you about the crescent. This month, this crescent to come and go, it changes between first to 14 days, then it starts reduce, reducing until it to, to become, to diminish. What is this cause? The ask Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell the noble Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told him, he said, answer them by saying, it is here mawaqitu linnasi wal hajji. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assigns this crescent in order to know the actual calculation 
and the time of Hajj. Not even time of Hajj, time of each and every Ibadah. Because all the Ibadah of Islam, the worship of Islam is attached to the time. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So my fellow brothers and sisters, as you know, we are about to enter this uh, new Islamic year, 1443, of the migration of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As we say it in Arabic salmon, the sunnatic act of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to celebrate only two occasions in the year. The first occasion is the Eid al-Adha, Eid of Sacrifice. The second one is Eid al-Fitr. This is only two days we have in Islam. As Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, وَلِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ عِيدَ وَعِيدَنَا هَذَا الْيَوْمِ Each and every tradition, each and every community, each and every nation, it has its own occasion of celebration. But we, we have these two days of celebration. What is the meaning? Meaning that apart from Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr, no any other day to celebrate in according to the Sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, first day of Muharram to celebrate it is innovative according to the Islam. Do you have reasons? No. What Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Man ahadasa fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fa huwa raddun. Whosoever innovates anything new in the concerning of our appears, that is the religion of Islam, it's rejected. So don't innovate anything other than what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam legislated according to the Sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we are in first uh, New Year. It is not allowed to celebrate, but we should know it is the beginning of New Year of Islam. That is Muharram. We have 12 months, Muharram Safar, Rabi ul Awwal, Rabi ul Thani, Jamada Awwal, Jamada Thani, Rajab, Sha'aban, Ramadan, Dhul Qada, Dhul Shawwal, Dhul Qada, Dhul Hijjah. This is the 12 months, as it indicated in Surah Al Ma'idah. So, my dear brothers and sisters, even though it is assigned by the federal government that it is the public holiday for the new year, but this doesn't mean that you have the right to celebrate or to, uh, to, uh, to start giving a sacrifice or anything uh, uh, other than this. Only two days is allowed in Islam to celebrate. Anyone celebrate this one, he should know that it is not allowed, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is rejected, is uh, it's not, it's not accepted according to the Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all acts of our uh, ibadah as we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us peace and tranquility in our, uh, in our nation. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah. شهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفر ونتوب إليك اللهم أعذ الإسلام والمسلمين وأعذ الشرك والمشركين ودرم أعداء الدين وانصر إبادك الموحدين اللهم أنت أمرتنا بدعائك وأتنا بإجابتك وقد دعونا كما أمرتنا فأجبنا كما أتنا يا ذا الجلال والإكرام إنك لا تخلف المئاد ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار قوموا إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله